Hey y'all, what's good guys? Sub video here. Today we got the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, Jimmy Carr with Jimmy Carr vs. Hecklers. The best, the best videos that we can get, honestly. Like, this dude, one of my, my favorite videos gotta be like the comedian heckler videos. Like, they're just so funny. They crack me up. What was the joke that got you cancelled? What was What was the joke that got you cancelled? Ah. Well, which time? <laughs> How long have you got? I think the first the first time I got cancelled, which is always kind of the worst one, because the first one really feels like, oh my God, this could be the end of things, because you've not got it in perspective. But the first one I did, um, <laughs> I was in, this was way back in like, I don't know, maybe 2004, 2005. Oh, shit. And I, the war was going on in Afghanistan, and I said it was just... Didn't even know you could get cancelled back then. <laughs> graceful, what's going on in Afghanistan. Our young boys being blown up by roadside bombs. But on the upside, we are gonna rule at the Paralympics. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's amazing. And uh, That's yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> they do like that one so Front much. of the papers, they're and, and weirdly, no one seems that upset now because <laughs> I was fucking right. <laughs> So I, I was, was weirdly, I was at like an awards uh, thing about, about like two funny. years later, I was in an awards thing with uh, uh, Michael McIntyre was on our table and Sebastian Coe basically said exactly the same thing on stage mm. when our heroes have come back and now they've smashed it at the Paralympics. And Michael McIntyre <laughs> went, he's nicking your stuff. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking great. Um, Will you ever get married? Oh, yeah, I mean, I think, I, think I, I definitely will, but you've got to understand, my friend, I met her before I was rich and famous. Imagine what I could get now. <laughs> ah, my G. Not with that face. He said he gotta understand. I met her before I had money. Now look what I can do. I just, uh... Did I mention rich and famous? Maybe? <laughs> 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 That's funny. Be honest. I got you dripping like an egg sauna. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> So charming. Um, <coughs> do you wear a suit on your day off? Do I wear a suit on my day off? Yeah. <laughs> I dress like a fucking grown up. <laughs> I dress like a fucking grown up. I'm just trying to serve as an example to this man in shorts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, well, how, how'd you gonna call me out, Jimmy? I'm, I'm wearing shorts right now. I know y'all can't see, but I'm wearing shorts. I ain't, I ain't getting up too. I'm too fat for that. But like, Believe me, I got shorts on. Fuck you, Jimmy. Yeah. Are you gonna call me out? Yeah, I wear a suit every day. <laughs> I'm what you might call a gentleman. I realize in Bromley, that's like, what? You mean he's in court every day? <laughs> How many crimes did this guy commit? Uh, <laughs> any others? I quite like this. <laughs> What's with I can't Someone's understand what the fuck is. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I you have... might be mistaking me for someone who gives. I, I have no idea what the hell that guy just said. Real's mom is a lesbian. Real's mom is a lesbian. Someone's mom is a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I think you might be mistaking me for someone who gives a fuck about that. I don't know. <laughs> Favorite heckle I've ever had. That's actually a valid I think question. my favorite, okay, worst heckle of all time ever, <laughs> it's a great question, is I was at, uh, I'm a big tennis guy, right? I really fucking like tennis, okay? That's my thing, right? So, yeah, I look like Roger Federer's like slightly special needs brother. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like I was kept in the attic That's for tough. parts. That's uh, tough. And he let me out when his playing career ended. Anyway. Damn. So I'm at a tennis match, uh, this is years ago, and there's a British player, I was very excited to be there, Queen's Club, there was a British tennis player who shall remain Tim Henman. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan of Tim Henman, no disrespect to him, but he was playing very badly on this occasion. So first set was, uh, I think, 6-1, and the second set was not going any better for him. And you know the little thing where they change ends in tennis? I don't so know shit about tennis. So sort of walking in to have a little sit down and a drink of their Robinson's Barley Water or whatever they do. Mm -hmm. And a guy in the crowd shouted, not me, a guy in the crowd shouted, there's a bit of shit at the end of your rackets. 
and Henman looked. <laughs> <laughs> and the bloke went, no land. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking perfect. Fucking perfect, right? Hey! Hey! Great minds take a like. Let's go. That's so great. Out of context, it's so much fucking better. <laughs> That's great. Best one I had, I think. I was in. Um, I was doing a gig in Israel, right, in uh, in Tel Aviv, and uh, amazing show to do. And as I walked on stage, right, the, and everyone there's funny. And the uh, but like as I got to the mic, and there was like a hush in the room. A guy shouted, "How does it feel to be the only guy that's circumcised?" <laughs> <laughs> And I, I thought, well, fair enough. I should have had it out. But I don't even know how I'd respond to that. Up, I? Um, are there any teenage girls in? Okay, that's a strange question. I don't, I don't even know how I'd respond to that one. Maybe I don't get what it takes for stand-up. Bro, I'm not fucking... I don't think I'm quick enough to, like, hold my... Eh, maybe. I don't know. I, I definitely I definitely have, like, my good little lines when me and my friends go back and forth. But I don't know if I'd be quick enough on the draw... Once somebody would throw some shade at me when I'm trying to do some stand-up machine to, like, have something funny back. Like, I feel like I'd say something stupid, then five minutes later I'd be like, damn it, I should have said that. I realize grooming's not for me. Are there any, te <laughs> any teenage girls? There is. She's sitting back there. She's sitting back there. Who's sitting back there? Our daughter. Your daughter? How old's your daughter? 19. And who's she here with? Rebecca? I'm here, but she's gone to the toilet. <laughs> Damn. Just fucked wow. up. Well, wait. <laughs> Just fucked up his whole routine. Like, I guess no, I'm, sure, I'm sure you're... Sorry, Bro Rebecca, sorry, I'll just fill you in. We were just talking about Bromley's biggest slag. <laughs> I don't know what Bromley is, but I know what slide means. What's Bromley? Let me know in the comments. So sorry, we're being so rude. Hi, Jimmy. The Jolly Walkers are doing the moonwalk tomorrow in support of breast cancer charities, and we would love a shout out. Who are the Jolly Walkers? <laughs> the, what, they're all over the fucking place. <laughs> we're what the fu what's the jo what's a Jolly Walk? <laughs> like, <laughs> I, <laughs> It's actually a real question. Is, so you're doing a charity walk? How long's the charity walk? 26 miles. 26 miles? Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, people... Yeah, that seems... that's, that's a decent walk. That's a decent walk. Let's not get carried away with the applause, because if they gave a fuck, they'd run it. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Are going to do a marathon? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, fucking around, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to shops on a Saturday, but we'll put the pedometer on, we'll see. Bro, that'd see be we do. That that'd be weird. You bought the run of air thought, nah, I'm I'm good on that. I'm too fat for that. <laughs> so so where are you going to? What's the uh, in London. In London. So there is a marathon famously in London. <laughs> Could have done that, you went, no. <clears throat> it's very busy that day. <laughs> We'll pick another fucking day. <laughs> well done. Well, best of luck. Good luck. Good luck to them. Good on hey, you. Nice. Uh, my friends, Dan and Jess, have just got engaged. They said, do you want to come to the wedding? Front row, in a circle, on your left. By the way, I'm Toya. Wasn't asked to be a bridesmaid. <laughs> where's, where's Dan and Jess? Where are you, Dan and Jess? <laughs> Hi, Dan. <laughs> When are you guys getting married? May 2026. May 2026. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like you've just arranged this <laughs> to get out of an argument, Dan. <laughs> In the distant That's future, funny. let's see how things work out. Um, yep, yep. <laughs> and what do you do, Dan? A uh, technical consultant. A technical consultant? Right. Turn it off, turn it back on again. <laughs> what are you, Jess? What are you doing? Uh, project manager. Project manager, how did you two meet? Was it work? Yeah. <gasps> it's work. Well, that's lovely. Because we only get to hear about the sexual harassment in the workplace where it goes badly. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you grab a colleague's tits and they like it. <laughs> oh. 
Top tier, row AA, date night off from the kids. This bastard took 12 years to ask me to marry him. On, Feel free to it. rinse him. <laughs> Damn. Please go well tonight, as if it doesn't, chances are I'm getting laid. What? <laughs> <laughs> Please go well tonight, as if it does, chances are I'm getting laid. Oh, thanks, okay. Uh, hey, so fair enough. Uh, where, where are these two? Where are you? Hey. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that, that, that hey, though, sounded fucked. Are you? <laughs> Could you stop fingering her for a moment while we? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a night off from the kids. How many kids you got? Two. Two. So you had two, and then you thought, now oh, I might as well marry this. <laughs> you crazy fucking dreamer. I love it. What do you guys do? What you I'm an electrician. You're electrician. Oh, this is okay. It's pronounced electrician. <laughs> electrician. Fuck's sake. Uh, what, what about you, love? What do you do? I'm a makeup artist. A makeup artist? Plastic. <laughs> what, sorry? Plastic. Classic. And I see you brought all your supplies with you. <laughs> A dick. Uh, come and fix this afterwards. Um, congratulations. I think you're married. No, they get married. Nice. I'm here as my friend Paul couldn't make it as he died. I had his ticket. I'm with his wife, Heidi. We are now a couple. Thank you, Paul. Damn. World's worst. Well, okay. Wait. How how soon? How how long ago did dude die? Because. How you instantly go, like, oh, your your boy dies. You know what I'm gonna do? I ain't gonna like grieve the loss of my friend. No, I'm gonna go steal his girl real quick. Like, that's crazy. Where's, where's, where's Heidi? Where are you? Hi. Hi. Is this is it? Where are you? Go on. Where's? Hello. Hi. Are you? Oh, oh, hello. What? What's your <laughs> name, mate? Uh, Ginny. Ginny. Are you n what? <laughs> Are you two now smashing pasties? <laughs> what, sorry? It's what? Damn! Oh, but I can keep the money. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He said, but I can keep the money. Fair enough. Did Paul, did there's someone, what, sorry? <laughs> now, did Paul die? Yeah. He did. When did he die? Next week. March. <laughs> in, in March. It's all right, Judy. He would fucking love this. He would think this was really funny. Oh, Paul would have died at all. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Ring one that. That's funny as shit. He would think this was really funny. Oh, Paul would have died at all. <laughs> if I was Paul, I wouldn't have died at all. <laughs> That's funny. That was worth coming out for, mate. <laughs> this is like, well, I, I dedicate the gig to, to Paul. I'm glad that you've come out, and uh, I'm sorry for your trouble. Give him a round of Paul. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. Thanks for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for Yo, amazing, amazing video. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, click all. You know how YouTube works. Let me know what other videos y'all like me to watch. Bye. <laughs>